Chapter 3 Caught the Saboteurs One morning, when Zishan woke up early, he excitedly told his father about a dream he had. Dad, last night, I had a dream. In the newspaper, there was big news, police caught the saboteurs, and your picture was on the front page. His father smiled and said, you know, sometimes dreams do come true. Zishan, however, pondered for a moment and replied, Dad, maybe we can also make our dreams come true ourselves. His father, Mr. Aga, glanced at Zishan and continued with his breakfast. Dad, Zishan persisted, Inspector Shoaib, uncle, was saying that they've caught the saboteurs. They've been chasing them day and night. Mr. Aga smiled, well, you see, I'm a police officer's son, and we're always after the bad guys. Zishan felt encouraged and asked, can I come to the police station with you to see the saboteurs? Mr. Aga had to visit the police station to observe the people they suspected of being saboteurs. He agreed to take Zishan along but warned him not to get too involved. Zishan was determined. When they reached the police station, Inspector Ahmed, in charge of the case, had brought the suspects out of the lockup and was questioning them. Zishan watched them nervously. One of the men had small, cat-like eyes, prominent eyebrows, a prickly mustache, and golden hair. And the other one, like an ordinary person. Mr. Aga asked Inspector Ahmed if he had taken their statements and learned anything useful. Inspector Ahmed replied, No, sir, not yet. Mr. Aga asked, Do you believe these two are innocent? Inspector Ahmed responded, Yes, sir. Mr. Aga was puzzled. Then why are they still here at the police station? Inspector Ahmed explained, They're waiting for their ride, sir. Mr. Aga decided to leave and walked out of the police station with Zishan. Zishan had visited the police station before to see thieves and doctors. He couldn't resist asking his father. He asked his father that he did not ask the inspector whether he had taken the prints of both hands or not. Dad, did you ask inspector if they've started a file on them? I have a feeling one of them might be connected to the saboteurs. Mr. Aga sighed, Zishan, we should let the police do their job. They know what they're doing. It's not right for us to interfere. Besides, I'm in the police academy now, and I need to maintain the appropriate boundaries. Zishan persisted, but, Dad, you've helped police officers before with their cases. If you allow me to talk myself, Zishan asked his father for such information. Come on, if you are stubborn, ask, but speak with distinction. Sir, I am not in a police, so why I will? Sorry, I did not remember that you are also in the police. Well, there are good people in the police. B-man Aga Sahib said while staring. Zishan tilted his head, smiling mischievously, and picked the landline phone. Zishan picked up the landline phone and dialed Inspector Ahmed's number. Hello, uncle, it's Zishan. I was just talking to my dad about those people you had in the morning. The ones you thought were saboteurs. Inspector Ahmed replied, Zishan, those were not saboteurs. Zishan continued, I thought one of them looked like a foreigner. Did he have an ID card? Inspector Ahmed explained, he did have an ID card, so he's not a foreigner. Besides, he had recommendations from important people. You're still young, Zishan. Focus on your studies and let the adults handle these matters. Zishan quietly hung up the phone, deep in thought.